Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Assalamu alaikum. Talal Khan here, and today with another code. So today we discuss the two, four, two, one code. Okay. We've seen the eight four two one code. We've seen the access three code, and today it's two four two one. All right. And by the name, it's clear to you that the positional weights that we got the positional weights in this code as 2, 4, 2, 1. This 2, 4, 2, 1 represents the what? The positional weights. Positional weights are 2, 4, 2, 1. All right? And again, uh, similar to the previous ones, this is a 4-bit code used to represent the decimal digits from 0 to 9. Okay? And how do we represent it? So, so, so we do it now, okay? This is the decimal, and this is the 2, 4, 2, 1 equivalent. So 0 to 9, so 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. So for 0, of course all of them would be 0. Alright, for 1, the 1 would be high, for 2, this one would be high. Now for two, you can have this is a zero and this is a one. And yani this two could also be represented as a one, zero, zero, zero in, in this code. Okay? Uh, similarly, we have three now. So this could be zero, zero, one, one. And this three can also be represented as, as this one is high. So one, zero, zero, one. Okay, for four we have uh, zero, one, zero, zero. For five, now for five if you see, so we can have a zero, one, zero, one. And similarly, similarly we can have, we can have it as a sum of uh, these two twos and a one. So you can have this one, you have the four low, and then one zero one one you can write okay for six you can have a zero uh one one zero or you can also write it as a sum of these two so you can have a one zero a one one and zero zero one one zero zero and similarly for seven now for seven you can have a uh, 4, 2, and 1 in the lower precedence, so you can have a 0, 1, 1, 1. But if you talk about the higher precedence, so I can write this as a 4 plus 2, 6, and 1. So I can take this two low, the third two low, so I can write 1, 1, 0, 1. Okay? Now for 8, it would be 4 and 2, 2, 4, 6, and 2. 1, 1, 1, and a 0. 1, 1, 1, and a 0. You cannot write it another way. And for 9, all of them would be high, so it would be 1, 1, 1, and 1. So the green and the red that I've written are, are in case of the higher uh, significance positions, all right? Now this is 1 is the least significant position, this 2 is at the most significant position. So you can write them in either ways. All right. Now have a look. If I write, if I write only this 5, 6, and 7 in its... And it's a significant uh, and it's significant position. So let me interchange these columns. So we have a 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. 1, 0, 1, 1. Here we had a 0, 1, 0, 1. Okay. Now here we have a 0, 1, 1, 0. 0, 1, 1, 0. And I could also write it as 1106, one, zero, zero. right? And for 7, we have a 0, triple 1, and I can write it as 1101. One, one. Let's say 1101, one, one, I move it here. Uh, this was a 0, 1, 1, 1. All right, now have a look. Let's say I, I represent these three by its higher precedences, all right? So now if you see this 2, 4, 2, 1, is also a self complementing code. A self 
complementing code. I hope this green color is visible. If not, you let me know in the comment section, okay? So now you have a look. The zeros complement is 9. One's complement is 8. Two's complement is 7. Three's complement is 6. And four's complement is 5. Isn't it so? Have a look. Is it so? Yes, it is. So this 2421 code is also a self complementing code. All right? Is that clear? Yes, it is. And, and we've also seen that self complementing code is also called a reflected code. All right, a reflected code. Now, you know, we are using again and again this uh, a word self-complimenting and we've seen how is this self-complimenting, but can we decide by the name or how to remember which code is self-complimenting and which code is not? So yes, we can, okay? And how to do so, so let me tell you. Let's say we put a question mark. So we are discussing mainly the four bit codes. So the four bits, let's say, represent the weights are W3, W2, uh, W1, and W0. So let's say this is the four bit code, okay? So to check out whether this is a complementing or self complementing or non complementing, you add the bits. You add the bits, the, the positional weights, okay? Not these bits that 0 plus 0 or 1 plus, you add this positional weights. These positional weights, you add them, W3, W2 uh, two, uh, plus W1 and plus W0. Now, what is the criteria? If this is equal to 9, if this is equal to 9, the code is a reflected code or it is a self-complemented code, okay? And if it is not equal to 9, if the sum of the weights sum of weights if it is not equal to 9 so this implies that this is not not complete not self complementing not self complementing all right we clear it through an example okay so let's say let's say talk about this 2 for 2 where we said this is a complementing so let us check okay uh, let's say for example 2 4 2 1 so this implies what? 2 plus 4 plus 2 plus 1. So this gives you 2 plus 4, 6 plus 2, 8 plus 1, 9. So this is a self-complementing code. We saw the axis 3 code. Uh, we saw 8 foot uh, axis 3 code, yeah. So axis 3 was an unweighted code, of course. So it was, but it was still self-complementing, okay? The only unweighted code that is self-complementing. We've talked about it. And we've seen the 8 foot 2 1 code. So let's talk about the 8421. So if we have an 8 plus 4 plus 2 plus 1, so this gives 8 plus 4, 12, 14, 15. So this is 15, which means this is not a self complementing code, and we have seen while studying it, okay? Other self complementing codes, example, may include a 3321. 3321. This is also a code, so you have a 3 plus 3, 6, plus 2, 8, plus 1, 9. So this is also a self-complementing or a reflected code. Okay, so that's all the, bas the basics of the 2421 code and how to check whether a code is self-complementing or is it not, okay? That's all for this lecture. See you in the next lecture very soon, inshallah. Till then, take care of yourselves and everyone around you. Goodbye.